A little shout out to my mate Flavio Brito in uh, Brazil. One of many of the Portuguese guys enjoying the webcast here from Fronton. G'day Flavio. Can't wait to catch up next year, buddy. Thanks, Greg. Cheers, Terry. And yeah, hello Flavio. He's played a very important role of the IBA in Latin America. And so uh, we've got a bit of a plug there. But look, we've got a little gap in the action here. So uh, while we're doing that, we've got Terry shuffling out. We'll have many Vargas shuffle in. And, uh, and then we'll get Jared Houston in here to uh, talk you through this all-important heat in the water. Jeff Hubbard, current World Tour leader, favourite to take out the world title. He's sitting here. He's already through, so this is really just a warm-up. Let's call it an expression session. But Ben Play is up and right in. On the right, what has he got here? Bang, big backflip, whips it round. Great work. And there's someone on the left too. Hopefully we can catch that highlight. But Arr. stoked to see Ben Player. Important scenario, Ben Player... He has it all to surf for here. Welcome back, Manny. We have Ben Play. He needs to win this heat to get through to the round of 16. So it's going to be exciting. Jeff Hubbard, he's already through. Joe Clark, well, he's got a bit of work ahead of him, but he can still do it. Well, he's on three points. He probably can't do it, actually. And, and unfortunately, Kevin is in a similar situation. Well, Look Kevin. at this up and riding in blue. Kevin, roll off the top, and that's all she wrote for Kevin. So he's uh, in and out of that. Sorry to interrupt. Jeff Hubbard up and riding, bouncing, holding on that rail, holding all the speed. Goes for a spin off the top, and that's all she goes. She went into, the wave went into the fat area, not much there. And Jeff Hubbard's hair was still dry. Joe Clark dropping in. Yeah, he won't have to get the hair out of his fringe this time. Here's Joe Clark. Oh, Whoa. nice. Nice little spin off the lip there. It said he probably didn't get the air and projection he wanted, but you know, you know, good solid start. And, you know, good exchange at the opening minutes of this heat, Manny. I'll quickly run you through the scenarios and I'll get out of here, but let's run through. Jeff Hubbard, he's already through. He's in a world title contender, but he's through to the round 16. He's safe. Ben Player, he needs to win this heat to be in contention for the round of 16. If he doesn't win, we say goodbye to wow. Ben Player. Joe Clark, he's on three points. I don't think he can make it, unfortunately, unless he can drop a 10-point ride and finish first. Unfortunately, I don't think Joe. And Kevin, the local man, if he, he's only 19 years of age, if he can win this heat, he's in through as well. So it's really, the battle is Ben Player and Kevin fighting out for first place. And, and, ben, and look at that, first and second right now, Ben Player and Kevin. And um, it's going to be an amazing heat as the w time winds down. We are only three minutes into the heat. Greg Taylor taking a quick little break. We're going to take another look right here at Jeff Hubbard. Dry hair and all. Holding on to his bottom turn as he bounces across the section. And here he is. He spots it. Goes up for a high 360 off the top of spin high on the on the wave. So nice, clean. <laughs> As you can see, Jeff Hubbard, hair dry and all. All right, so with me now, Jared Houston, the South African. And he is in the last heat of round number three. And all eyes will be on that because a lot of situations can unfold when that heat finishes. So, Jerry, how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling good, Manny. Um, stoked to be back here in the commentary booth. But um, yeah, no, it's just I've had a I've had a pretty fun run so far. Today it wasn't such a great heat for me. It was pretty hard to even buy away. But uh, Jeff took that one out, and um, yeah, he's looking good, and so am I. So I'm looking forward to the next heat just to go out there and get some good waves. All right, that is coming up in uh, a few heats from now. We are currently in heat number four, round number three. We have this. Full round, round number three, the last round of the leaderboard rounds, which are going to go down today. And the conditions are getting a little better. Coming in out of the water, Hugo Pinedo making his way up onto the cliff. So, Hugo. Yeah, Hugo is a great competitor from Portugal. Um, he's been on the tour for a number of years, and uh, he narrowly missed our qualifying for next year's GSS. But I guess that's just fuel to the fire for Hugo, and um, I reckon he's going to go home, train hard, and get back on the tour next year and uh, give it a full crack. Oh, man, I, I actually was upstairs, and I was talking to Stuart a little bit, and I had to ask. I'm like, okay, so what's next? Yeah. And um, he didn't give me a straight answer, but it, it was obvious he's not going anywhere. Yeah. Uh, he's just going to go home and pick the, the route he wants to take. So, sure. Mike Stewart, we will see for sure in uh, the bodyboarding world. He's not going anywhere. Yeah, so I think I think everyone's pretty interested to see what, what Mike's uh, reaction is after this contest. And um, I think, uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm keen to see him whichever way he goes. I'd love to see him tackling some sick waves in Indo and in some free surfing trips and whatnot. But if yeah. he wants to keep behind the contest, that would be great too to have him around. It's, he's such an experienced competitor and such a 
to such a great guy to be around all the time. And that's the beauty of it because he is like he can he can choose whatever he wants to do. If he if he wants to go the route of just free riding perfect waves, he can do that. Just get a small team with him and travel around the world bodyboarding the perfect waves around the world, video and photos, he can yeah. pull that off. No, nah, for sure. He's he's the best barrel rider on the planet, I reckon, so I want to just see him in those kind of ways of 2D surfing. Yep. I would love to see a barrel riding contest yeah. between Mike Stewart, Ben Severson, and Andrew Lester, because Andrew Lester's drawn some insane lines yeah. today throughout the event, and we are going to, uh, actually, he won his, his, I think, yeah, he won his heat, or the first heat of round number three, so... Uh, Andrew Lesser on fire. Yeah, and she's Andrew's been Andrew's been pretty amazing actually. Like he's just qualified. He entered three events, three from Whoa. three. Oh, Ben, oh, is he coming oh. at it? Look at that. He must have heard us out Jeez. there talking about tube riding because there he is putting down his skills on that way. Ben Player. That was incredible. Woo. Yes, he came through two sections there. He started off on the peak, he started to barrel, and then had that wrapping end ball, like end west ball that he just powered straight through again. So incredible way from Ben Player there. You can see how much he wants it, and uh, he's going for the first place in this heat. He needs to. He and Kevin need a first place. Look at this. One more look. Oh, there he goes. You can see him. Oh, you just, yeah, you couldn't even see him there. That's how deep he was. And um, just come flying through so much speed. And that Ben player steez. And, uh, yeah, he's happy with that one. Unbelievable. Ben player. Uh, perfect tube riding skills right there demonstrated. And that, you're right, he did go through two sections. One right on the takeoff, and then one he had to back door and came out perfectly. Door was wide open, and he said, thank you. Yeah, perfect, perfect example of how to ride a barrel and perfect example of how to select a wave of front on. Unbelievable. Ben Player out in the water in the white jersey, still waiting for his score to drop. Kevin Orihuela from the Canary Islands in the blue jersey, 3.5 and a 5.5. And look at that. Ooh, what did he get? Well, there we go. Ben Player came in there with an 8.0 to go on top of his 7.5. So he's got a pretty, I'd say, a pretty damn commanding lead right now with uh, <laughs> the back two riders in combination, that being Joe Clark wow. in third and Jeff Hubbard in fourth. And Kevin Oriella from Canaries now needs a 10. <laughs> to be first. Oh, man. So um, it's looking like the guys have got their work cut out for them, and uh, Ben's definitely taking no prisoners in this heat. No, for the next remaining 22 minutes, it's all about having fun now for Ben Player. Yeah. But you know what? I don't. I, he's one of those fierce competitors. He's going to sure. try to better those scores, definitely. if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you just can't. You can't really relax out there, especially with riders of the of this caliber, like um, like guys like Jeff Hubbard and Joe Clark and Kevin as well. They're all incredible riders, and um. I think for, for Joey especially, he's, he's sitting in a, in a kind of hopeless position, and I think he wants to prove to everyone just how well he can surf, and he's, he's an incredible body, but here he is right now. Joe um, Clark. Unfortunately, that one's not doing much for him, but I know that when, once he gets the right wave, he's going to go to town on it, so I'm, I'm pretty excited to watch Joe in this heat, actually. Uh, yeah, and he's, uh, we talked about it. It doesn't look like he's in the contention to make it into round number four, but... Um, yeah, he's, he's down low. He's only got three points after the first two rounds, and that's not going to be enough. So look at Ben Player on the inside. Jeff Hubbard having a sniff here, and bang! Oh, my! Sweet reverse. Just coming down on top of it, um, the way that the reef is shaped here, the waves kind of wedge across each other, and uh, that one just pushed him a little bit over the back. But still, Ben just trying to build on his scores, and uh, I'm sure that if he had made that one, he would have actually bettered his uh, 7.5. So exciting times here, Manny. The waves have gotten... The so waves have got them much better. Yes, it did clean up. The wind actually calmed down from the morning, and now the waves are starting to, you know, clean up, and the tide is dropping. So it's going to be more in in oh. intense action. Kevin, up and riding. Nope. Ah, oh, Kevin. No, just uh, he's a local. He knows what what to look for out here, and uh, he had a sniff on that one, but seeing what it was producing, and decided not. Nah, he's just, he's going back out for a different one. Well, last week, the ISA World Games uh, held their bodyboarding event here in uh, this area. And uh, some of them are still lingering around. I, I just talked to a couple of guys from Morocco. Yeah. Uh, Mexico team are still here uh, watching. And uh, a bunch of other riders from around the world are here to watch some of the best bodyboarders throw it down in one of the gnarliest and craziest waves on the planet here at El Fronton. Welcome, everybody. Once again, my name is Manny V, along with Jared Houston, the South African and and competitor who's looking really good in the competition so far. We are here for the IBA 2011 NMD Pride Stealth Fronton Pro brought to you by Grand Flavor. So Grand Flavor. Yeah, Grand Flavor. Yeah, Grand Flavor is uh, the media partners in this event. And um, so I'm super stoked to be representing them to see 
a brand that supports me supporting the sport by by um, putting on helping putting on this contest and um, yeah I mean head on over to their to their website grandflavor.com they've got a crazy deal on right now um, with uh, free shipping on any orders over two hundred dollars that's free international shipping that's in that's so, insane uh, pretty much any of you internationals that are watching out this that are watching this and uh, you don't take advantage of that then I don't know man go play in the traffic or something I don't know, <laughs> what, you, I don't know what you're doing with your life. All right, look at this action out the back. Oh, oh. Ho, ho, big reverse spin out the Jeez. back. That was Ben Player. Now he's just, uh, he, he's, he, you know what? He's yeah. not, he's l taking out all the stops and just going for it. Yeah, looking like it's looking like it's really ramping now. There's a bit of west filling in and uh, the, the wind's back off completely and it's just looking like a skate park out there, the front one we know and love. So here we have Ben just popping straight off of that one. Just such a good kick. Almost, almost got back into that, but... um. As you can see on that one, especially like the, it just had such a strong push from the left hand side. Unbelievable. Ben Player on fire out the back, up and riding in the blue jersey. It is Kevin Orihuela. So check it out. We do have Shaggy with the winner of the last heat. Shaggy, where you at? Thanks, guys. I'm down here with Amori Laverne, the winner of the last heat. Congratulations, Amori. You just like won. You get better with, with time, hey? Yeah, exactly. I was pretty stressful in this heat. I get third and a second in my hits before. I was a bit borderline and uh, I was a bit stressful. I really want to make the main event. Uh, I finally made it. Uh, my hit was pretty slow. The tide is still pretty high now. It's hard to find some good ramps. Uh, I had these good ramps on the right. Nice invert. Pretty hard landing. I just handled my board as hard as I can. Uh, it's where my jiu-jitsu training is good for me because we have a good grip. Oh uh, Yes, I'm really happy now. And also a really good core, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Well, congratulations. You're into the fourth round. Uh, you deserve it. And, um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, thank you very much. Stuck to be a part of it. And thanks, everybody, for the support. You. A little um, greetings or hello to Reunion. Yeah, hello, les gars. Vraiment, c'est cool. Merci pour le support. Uh, J'espère que tout va bien pour vous. Et je rentre bientôt à la case. Well, there you go. Back to you guys. <laughs> Merci yeah. beaucoup. And um, Amory actually has a, a book. Uh, yeah. I, I look through it. He, uh, somebody had it in Reunion Island. If you want one of the coolest books, bodyboarding books out there, pick up Amory's uh, book. I think you can sure. find Where can you find it? Um, um, just Google it. Geez, yeah, just Google it. Or I know it's available extensively in Europe. Uh, I'm, not, I'm pretty sure they're getting Australian distribution soon. But uh, yeah, it's an incredible book. And speaking of incredible things, here we got Oriella on a good looking wave. And oh, oh nice invert. Thanks. Sweet little innie. And uh, finishing that, off, that one off neatly. So it's Kevin Oriella getting back in it, but uh, that won't be enough to overtake <laughs> Ben. Well, uh, right now, what Kevin needed was a 10-point ride, which yeah. didn't happen. Yeah. But he's he can improve on his 3.5 and 5.5, which are his two highest scoring waves. Again, these are 30-minute heats. Top two waves will be scored, and the average of those two scores will be added up, and uh, that's your that's, that's your, your score. final score. Yeah. Yep. And um, Kevin Oriella, yeah, he's he's a, he's a lo young local out from the Canaries. Um, he's come from strength to strength this year. In, sp in specific, uh, last year he definitely wasn't near the level he is now. And uh, and uh, yeah, right now he's ripping, and he's a super cool guy. Um, really helpful and uh, helping a couple of boys with places to stay. And yeah, great dude. All right, check this out, Jared. We have a little bit of t lol in the action. We'll be back right after this. That's, uh, that was just an example of exactly how to do an air reverse, and uh, Ben Play is one of the masters, and there you had it in the flesh. Check this out, up and riding on this left, on the inside, Ben Player, tons of speed, finds Dang. a section, nice invert yeah, air right there. invert, and uh, there he fought his way through the foam successfully. <laughs> and uh, out the and back in yellow, Joe Clark. Joe Clark, getting a nice pit to start that wave off, and um, good exit maneuver, that's a, that's a really... Really strong way for Joey, and uh, I think that's definitely going to get him out of combination. 
perfect. That's what he needed. He was chasing a 6.5 to get into that second place spot. He's building on his second highest scoring wave, which is a 1.0, and I think yeah. that was better. Yeah, that was for sure better <laughs> that score. And uh, any, yeah, any, th any, any improvements and improvement. And um, yeah, I think Jay's just warming up. All right, taking a look at what is happening out there right now. Ben Player currently in first place with a commanding lead of 15.5. And uh, <laughs> a little Jeez, sneak attack. That wasn't front on. <laughs> Kevin Ore Orihuela in the blue jersey in second place, chasing a 9.75. And Joe Clark in third, Jeff Hubbard in fourth. Wow. That's not a very common place for Jeff Hubbard. Yeah, it's not. Uh, Jeff Hubbard's been pretty quiet in the seat. Uh, I think he's just kind of... Um, uh, surveying his options out there and just waiting for his, his time to strike. And I think when he does, it's going to be something pretty impressive. Wow, look at the reef. You know Jeez. what? I just talked to Sergio Alonso on my little break, and it, not only do they have to contend with the reef, which he did have a couple reef cuts, but he also got attacked. Well, he didn't get attacked. He actually swam into a, um, a jellyfish oh, man, out there. Oh, the jellyfish have been crazy. Like, it, uh, two days ago, I got stung three times in a row. Yeah. And pretty much everyone on the lineup got done. But, I mean, uh, talking about getting done... Joe Clark's just uh, down at 6.9. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. And uh, that's moved him into second place. Let's take a look at Ben Player once again. Nice invert right there on the inside section. As you can see, the wave gets really small on the inside because it's just surging onto the reef right now. You can't tell, but right now, Ben in that situation was just a couple feet just above a, the reef. Yeah, a couple inches in my <laughs> yeah. feet, yeah. Look at this, turn around, Joe Clark, taking a look at this left. Oh, Joe having a sniff on the left, but um, yeah, Joe is very strong on the left hand, and uh, he feels pretty comfortable out there hitting the dry sections, and uh, I think he's looking to capitalize on his strengths, so that's why you see him having a sniff on most of the lefts that come through. But um, geez, pretty pretty exciting exchange there with uh, Joe moving into second. He now only needs an 8.6 to move into first, which is a, it's an attainable score. And uh, Kevin Oriella now in third place just needs a 5.91 to go back into second, which he is up right now. He's going to have a go. And, oh, nice roll. Like, good extension and clean, clean exit. But I don't know if that will be enough to overtake Joe Clark. You saw him slap his board. He kind of knew it as well. Uh, we'll take another look at his wave. Talk us through it. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, nice, nice speed line into it. And uh, just waiting for that end section to give him the best exit and there he finds it nice clean landing but i think he needed to do something more on that manny yeah you can see it right there as he slapped the nose of his board as he kicks out of that wave and um, he knew he, he needed to get something better and that score drops in at a 4.5 check this out thomas rigby coming up next getting uh Getting prepped. He's happy. He's yeah. a happy camper right yeah, now. No, he's a happy camper. He qualified for the World Tour after having a stellar year. I think he made like four finals. So, I mean, it would have been absolutely devastating if he didn't qualify. We've got Dallas Singer as well, another formidable competitor. He had a great start to the year, but unfortunately lost steam towards the end. But he's looking to make his uh, comeback in this event. And, um, yeah, he's an exciting one to watch. Absolutely shreds out here at front on last year. He was a standout. And then here we have the local man, Aram Cabrera. Um, this heat is pretty stacked. I mean, PLC, Dallas Singer, Thomas Rigby, and the local ripper, Ayram Cabrera. It is going to be insane to watch if the waves come through for this heat. For sure, and uh, it's actually pretty interesting in this heat. Pierre Louis Costa is sitting on two seconds, and uh, he's yes. definitely looking to get a second or better in this heat to guarantee his uh, spot in the in the finals. And oh, uh, missed ben, timing right there. Yeah, Benny having another crack there. Uh, he's, you can see Ben's really trying to capitalize on the. On the scoring potential of the air forwards and the air reverses, uh, we were briefed before the competition, and here he has another go. Oh, <laughs> oh backflip, backflip on that inside left-hand section. But on the right, Jeff Hubbard, yeah. big section. Nah. Oh, goes for a reverse roll out the back. Nothing there for Hubbard. But Ben Player, big backflip. Yeah, sick backflip from Ben. Um, I'll be interested to see how that score comes in. I'm not sure if it will better his uh, second highest wave, but I think that he will definitely better his third highest wave. Well, at least we got to see the landing yeah. <laughs> from Ben Blair. Um, but on the right, it was Jeff Hubbard sees a big section. But as you can see, the lip just absolutely disappeared as he went up to hit it. Yeah, she said, what an action pack heater, man. He has been, the exchanges have been crazy. And uh, while we're waiting for scores to drop from Ben, yeah, as I was saying, the, before the contest, Craig hadn't briefed us and said that uh, Archie had front on, obviously, it's going to be pretty easy to do backflips and inverts and the more basic maneuvers. And what he's really looking for is the air reverses, the air forwards, all the moves you don't really see too much in competition. Where well, this wave, it's very possible, and uh, that's what they're looking for. 
Well, only a few of you guys can actually call backflips a basic maneuver. Uh, but for 99% of the population around the world, bodyboarding population, backflips. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, for sure. No way is it a basic maneuver. It's just a more a more common maneuver. Okay, but, I'm just um, I'm pulling your chain. Yeah, I'm pulling nah. your chain. Now nah, backflips my favorite maneuver, so I'm not riding off anyway. I'm just, <laughs> just uh, there are definitely more complex maneuvers to perform out there. So you got uh, Magno Oliveira, Yurai Martinez, and Elliot Morales in your heat. Yeah. That's stacked. That's yeah. coming up at the end of round number three. And all eyes will be on that heat as time winds down. Currently out of the water, round number three, heat number four, nine minutes, 30 seconds remaining. How are we looking? Yeah, well, we're, looking, uh, we're still looking the same as we were three minutes ago, but it's uh, yeah, Ben playing first. He's, uh, he actually needs that first, so he's going to be holding on to that one. Uh, Joe Clark in second, he's at 8.6 to be first, which is a pretty big score, but definitely not unattainable for Joey. He's a great rider. And uh, in third, we have Karen o Kevin Orihuela, the local guy who is actually having a go right now on a pretty good looking wave. What can he master up here? And oh, <laughs> massive <laughs> back here. That was insane. Well, uh, he's looking for 5.91 for second Jeez. and a 9.75 for first, but. We will see. That was a big backflip on the right-hand yeah. wave of El Fronton. These guys making their way down the cliff and the goat trail to the water's edge. Thomas yeah. Rigby in yellow. Look at this. Out the yeah, back, Jeff, Jeff Hubbard. Whoa. Oh, my. Big backflip on the inside. And he's not done yet. It cranks a reverse spin, Whoa. air reverse spin, and big whitewash just slapping the rocks on the inside. Unreal action. The what ocean exchange, is man. alive. Look at just the water surging off. He's on the reef. Yeah, yeah. He's that, that little section there is so dry, like a full surgeon's table. Uh, last year, I actually went to the hospital twice, courtesy of that little end bowl. So oh, <laughs> look um, at it. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's deadly. That's how shallow it is. He was actually on the inside of that doing these maneuvers. And yes, let's take another Kevin look at Kevin. That. Perfect example of backflip, just straight back and over, flat landing. Unfortunately, a little bit on the side of the wave, uh, yes. but still great control and uh, finishing off a little spin there to show you had momentum. So smart move from Kevin, and uh, geez, that was an impressive move. Now here's another look at Jeff Hubbard's wave. Talk us through yeah, it. Yeah, Jeff Hubbard um, on the left, which is probably the heavy option today, massive backy, landing really hard, but as only Jeff can, he controls that. He's like a rubber man or an elastic man, and um, yeah, coming out of that like nothing happened and trying to finish the wave with a little reverse. Oh, a nice technical wave just before we get splashed. Yeah. I actually moved back in my chair when I seen that. I got a fright. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Hubbard with a nice wave. Scores are dropping right now as we speak. Let's take a look what we have here. All right, Jeff Hubbard's wave comes in at a 6.4. He's still in fourth. Yeah, here he is Jeff up and riding. Oh, oh my! Sick reverse out of what the ball. That's going to be a big on. score. That's going to be a big score, and that's going to be what Jeff needs to uh, move ahead in this heat. That is what you were talking about. Craig yeah. Hayden mentioned we want variety, and that was a big variety that right was now very from Jeff Hubbard. You get. <laughs> One of the highest scoring waves was actually your wave yesterday with a big bank reverse, and look at this. Yeah, Jeff, they're really um, showing them all I've done. Uh, Jeff, is he's, he's, he's just amazing. He can turn the most average wave. I mean, that wave taking off, would, you would have thought maybe a, a 5 or a 4, and he can turn a 5 or a 4 into a 10 pretty easily, and uh, I think that's going to be a – it's not going to be far off. Wow, look at that. 6.8 .8 for .8. Jeff Hubbard's last wave, which means he goes straight into second place. Ben Player still holding steady in first place. Now Joe Clark in third, and Kevin, this could be the end wow. of the road. What a seesaw, hey? Like, um, wow, I was a bit surprised with that score for Jeff. I thought it would be a bit higher because that was a pretty um, pretty intricate maneuver and a uh, good execution, but that's how the judges saw it. But, I mean, still he moved through into second, which is uh, a position that he doesn't actually need to be in. He could finish third in the seat and still qualify, so he's relaxed, he's having fun, and uh, now he only needs an 8.7 to catch Ben. So this is going to be interesting. You know what? i got to give props to Jeff Hubbard. Anybody else in his situation would probably just take it easy not really do, you know, go for these big moves, but because he was already in. But look at this, Ben Player. Yeah, no, it's all about a competition there. Ben having a nice, a nice backflip on the right. Um, pretty good wave, but uh, definitely won't fall into the top two for Ben. But, um, yeah, like, like we were saying, Jeff, is, uh, he's, he's a competitor, and um, there's no friends in the water, and you just got to do your best every time. Otherwise, I think that you lose the element of competition. Great job for Jeff Hubbard. Big 
two big moves and look at downstairs on the water's edge high from a high above the cliff is PLC in the red jersey. So PLC needs a first or a second. Yeah, yeah, he needs he needs he needs a look second. Look at this, look at this. Yeah, we got Jeff. Whoa. Bails yeah. out, not much there for Jeff to hit. Yeah, and Ben Player looking on. Time. Look at Ben. What do you think he's saying to him? Ben's like, easy mate. You gonna you gonna knock me out? <laughs> like that, but yeah, I don't know. Nah, nah. Ben's in a pretty comfortable position. <laughs> there. Even if he is saying that to him, Jeff's still gonna give him horns. So yeah. But uh, yeah, there we got PLC getting ready for the next seed. Yeah, I think. Um, well, I'm not too sure exactly how it works, but I think that if he had to come third, he would be on the cusp. But that's not good enough for PLC, and he's been going for first or second in this heat to ensure his place and to uh, stay in the world title race. Yeah, which is uh, his, his main goal being here. I mean, uh, the France on Pro is uh, an event in its own, but I, th I, I think I'd be fair in saying that the main focus in this event is going to be the, the crowning of the world champion. And uh, come end of the week, we have uh, four different options on who it could be. And they would be. And they would be um, <laughs> here, uh, Jeff's obviously out the front runner, Pac-Man, as he was called on the IBA website. And uh, he's got a pretty commanding lead. But uh, old Pete, or Pedro Luis, as they call him here in the Canary Islands, is uh, right up there behind him. And he's looking for his first world title. Ben looking, I mean, Jeff looking for his third. And uh, then we have uh, Ryan Hardy. He's next in line. And uh, he's looking to snitch his maiden title. We've got Joe Clark up on a really good looking wave. Wow, comes off the bottom, oh. a little bouncy, nice spin off the top, and uh, just holds on and lands, and that's all for Joe Clark. So it was, uh, you know, a clean ride, but not, not yeah. much there. Yeah, and it just, just didn't get the air he needed. Uh, pretty technical move, a spin on the lip, and uh, the good free fall, but just didn't get that pop. So we are going to look at another, take another look at yeah. Joe Clark's wave. Like there, he's got good control to drop into that. Uh, you can see his eyes on the prize. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty steep bottom turn up to it. And it's just got that little bit of a cap there that I think he kind of gets a little bit stuck in, but super controlled move from Joe. Um, stylish it always. And yeah, he's I think he's gonna be happy with that one. That fourth person in the, the four-man race to the world title is Galerme Tamega, yeah. but he is sitting on the bubble and on the back end of that bubble. Yeah. So we're gonna have to wait. Oh, Jeff Hubbard streaking fast. Jeff opting out of that Bails one. out of that one. Yeah, no, I think uh, G GT is actually one of the main ones to watch in this event. Um, I, I really hope he gets through on his, on his points that he's accumulated. Um, it will be a real shame not to have him in the race. And uh, he's, yeah, he's out here front on. I think he's one of the first people to ever surf front on big back in the day. And uh, he's, he's just an animal. He's just not scared. And uh, as you can see with his antics in Chile and whatnot, he just, he knows what he has to do. And he just goes for it no matter what the cost. And he's willing to put it all on the line. And he wants that that what will it be seventh world title yes he wants that seventh world title more than anything and uh he's willing to do whatever it takes to get it so i'm keen to just be a part of the show <laughs> well you're still you're still in the game i mean uh you, we got one more heat but uh we're gonna see you in round number four for sure yeah here we are update one minute 45 seconds to go Jeez, uh, not much time left but uh yeah the ocean looks pretty looks pretty flat but uh, we got uh ben player sitting in first still he's He's holding on to that lead very, very well, Ben is. And, uh, but now in second, we now have Jeff Hubbard, who's sitting on a total of 13.2, needing an 8.7 to move into the first position. So, yeah, he's doing pretty good. Still big shout-out to Winnie and Jones sitting there watching. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, Joey Clark is uh, sitting in third. He needs a 6.3 to be second and an 8.6 to be first. So, Joe actually needs a lower score than Jeff to, be, to get into first. So, he's um, Joe's still in the game. And here we have Jeff. Coming around the section, look at this thing, nice oh. air reverse 360 from Jeff Hubbard, lands it perfectly. Wow, this guy is amazing, just a, yeah. he's a fly, high flying machine. Jeff Hubbard is a contest maestro, and he would love to have a world title. How is he gonna get in over here? Yeah, I don't know, it's pretty tricky to come in there, but he's such a great contest machine. Um, here he comes with the bottom, drawing a really good line, and um, such a good ramp to hit. Hits it, connects it perfectly, floating, and what lands he right in the soft zone, and he's going to ride that one, and I think that I think that's going to be a good score. Maybe, maybe. Let, let, well, actually, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what it's going to. Let's see what how it's going to pan out. But here we got Kevin Oriola, almost his last chance. Big. Oh wow. man! And holding on to that one. So that's a great finishing maneuver there for Kevin. 
Uh, uh, Kevin's did. chasing some big numbers right yeah. now. 9.3 per second and a 9.75 for first. But I don't think that's enough. But he's going to end his uh, campaign with a big air, legs flailing all over the place, and pulls it off. But Jeff Hubbard, last wave, 8.25. Kind of scary for Ben Player. Almost yeah, got knocked out. what a out. banger. He almost did actually move into, into the uh, first position there. That wow. would have ended ben, ben Player's uh, front-on campaign for 2011. So, yeah, uh, great great finish for Ben. He's he's safe. He's stoked. And uh, it's such an amazing thing that he could perform under pressure and, and, and uh, make sure that he came away with the win. And here we are, Kevin Royuela's last go at it. So you can see him stalling on the lift there, just waiting for that last section to, to peek up for him. And uh, let's go at the thing. perfect moment. Oh. Connects it. Oh, such a big free fall. You Jeez, saw his legs flailing. He had to move and kick his fins to be able to bring his body and board around yeah. and land softly and pull it off. So great ending wave right there for Kevin. So we're not going to see Kevin and we're not going to see uh, Joe Clark no. in round number four. We are going to see Ben Blair and we are going to see Jeff Hubbard in round number four.